I'd, uh, I'd appreciate your advice. After our last talk, I, my eyes feel a little more at peace, a little more whole. Cora's grandpa, good old Jacob, well, he just will not stop pestering me to see Cora, and that's complicated. I mean, can you blame them? She's something else. But things with my dad. My early years, they uh, weren't good. My mother died when I was seven. Some people have such strong memories from their early life. Me, I mean, I remember her. I have some pictures. I remember the feelings, but just a few clear memories. She had these truly ancient cameras, like caveman type things. To the room with a red light, she developed pictures she took in this chemical bath. I remember sitting on a stool, looking up at them slowly fading in, and it was like alchemy to me then. And that's all I have. Just glimpses like that. She banged up her knee real good in an accident. So she went in for knee replacement. It's supposed to be routine, but that damn anesthesiologist dropped the ball. And one day mom's fine. And the next, doctors take her away. You better believe it. So, Jacob raised me on his own, and... Shit, maybe I don't give him enough credit. I mean, I know how tough it is, but he was strict, hard. Dad was a longtime civil servant, a big man in governments, and he had a future all laid out for me. Man, could he get his hooks into you. He was scary good at that. Maybe. But it was tough to live up to his exacting expectations. But I tried. I felt the weight of legacy. I wanted to do him proud. He said I had to learn the business, run some freight, see how credits flow, speak the language. Meanwhile, he's working some angle for a government job for me after. That sounded even more miserable than what I was doing. Imagining you around back then, let's just say you would have been, uh, distracting. But I had a point, <laughs> if I could remember it. Even after I was with the Rangers, Dad was just always needling, angling for me to join the government. But by then I knew myself more, and I could stand up to him. And Lillian, well, she helped. If I let Jacob into Cora's life, He'll dream up some big future for her and tie her into knots like he did with me. A man could teach a master class in manipulation. I mean, I can't prove it. But I'm pretty sure that freight company was silently partnered with good old dad. And the smuggling? I wouldn't put it past him to be involved. Very involved. He always did a good job of keeping that side of the business hidden from everyone. Especially me. Well, no. But he hasn't had much opportunity. And he's a sly one. I'm not sure I'd be able to spot anything. Well, like you said, I've taken a lot of hard knocks, learned a thing or two. Yeah, I might be able to make sure Jacob stays a good, doting granddad. Or else, I guess I got more to think about. <laughs>